it's time to have some fun. Oh, light talk, it's Sammy Mud. We got skits and interviews. We got everything but the blues. It's on. Light talk is on. Light talk with Sam Beeman. reactors in my chest, especially after being hit with shrapnel. Whew, I just hope they don't try and make a movie about it, about my life, you know? Wait, is the thing even working? Hold on, let me see. Oh, for a minute there, I thought I had to get a new one. Great, okay. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a really interesting episode of Light Talk. I'm your host, Sam Beeman, and uh, I'm not feeling well at the moment, so... Oh, give me just a moment. Give, give. Uh, this horrible thing happened. Uh, I was out playing golf and all of a sudden a piece of shrapnel hit me. Wild thing, you know? And then I, I was able to dig in there and replace it with this, with this arc reactor. I mean, this is not a prop, okay? I mean, I would not get a prop from a costume company, huh? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I'm sure that you're probably just dying to see the rest of the episode, so let's go ahead and let's uh, take a break. I need to recuperate. I'll be back in just a moment. T-shirts and, uh, oh, teddy bears. <laughs> I love teddy bears. Ooh, this one talks. What? What kind of teddy bear is this? Uh. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, this is where kids can reach it. Uh, let's put it up. It's not high enough. Uh, oh, put it right up here. <laughs> hey, what's this? Apparently, that's where they belong. Oh, look, Sonic. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And uh, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I don't know if you've ever had uh, fatigue quite like this. I mean, it is... It's... It takes a lot out of you, I will say that. It, it's kind of like if you've ever taken uh, any kind of medicine where it feels like that, like it's, it's constricting your heart or your lungs. I don't know if, you, if you've ever taken medicine like that, but somebody out there probably has. And uh, I know I have as well. It's uh, especially like steroids. Now I'm not trying to say that I'm taking steroids like that, you know what I'm saying? But for, uh, for uh, different things that I've gone through where the doctor has recommended steroids, coming off that stuff really hurts. It's like you really can't breathe. Um, so anyways, that's, that's what I'm going through right now. It's very difficult. But I'm not going to focus on myself because I think that we need to focus on my guest today. Now, my guest has been featured um, with Nicolas Cage, the whole National Treasure, Con Air, you know, that guy? Yeah, he's been with him. I think they like hang out and I don't know what they do. But I know they have uh, worked on a movie together and he's also, uh, he and I go way back because I had hosted an event a few years ago where I brought him on and uh, he is amazing. So please welcome to the show, Seth Harden. Come on in. I know, just make your way around this this mess. Uh, man, it's so good to... Good to see you. Good to have you in the studio. I didn't tell them that you were a Christian rapper. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Christian rapper. And actor. Well, actually, um, let me rephrase that. Um, I don't like to class my, classify myself as a Christian rapper. Okay. I'm a Christian who raps. Okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I'm a Christian who raps, and I'm a Christian who acts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Okay, it's a good song. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it's funny because the first guy that introduced me to you, mm -hmm. Chase Williams, you remember Chase? Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chase yeah. Williams had told me all about you. He said, you have got to hear this guy. He is like blowing up here. I haven't seen Chase in forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so uh, I said, yeah, let me uh, let me, you know, check him out and see what you got. And then I put you on the faith night in yeah, Zoo City. Yeah, in Zoo City. Yeah. I remember that too. That was a cool place. It was, it was. <laughs> and there were uh, a lot of people that had come up to me and they were like, you know, who is this guy? Like, where did you find him? Because mm -hmm. at the time you were, how old, 15? 
Oh, was it? Let's see. 15, yeah. Yeah. 15. Man, that's a while back. Yeah, 15, yeah. yeah. I know. So here you are, 15, and you're writing your own music. Yeah. And performing. Mm hmm. I mean, it's just the, what has happened since then? Well, now I'm 18, getting ready to turn 19. Um, oh, man. Let's see. You know, the, the, the movie deal, you know, with Nicolas Cage. Um, I've done a lot of things since then. Like, I've worked with T.D. Jakes not too long ago. Um, what was that? Last month or so? Um, T.D. Jakes. That, that's, yeah. that's the preacher. Yeah, T.D. Jakes. Who says, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Same right. thing my dad says. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, T.D. Jakes, uh, Steve Harvey. Steve um, Harvey, too? Yeah, we just went and we were on set of the Family Feud the other day. Really? I, yeah. I've been on the set of Family Feud. Now, were you So on it? funny. So funny. That was the funniest taping of anything I've ever done in my life. It was so funny. I, I promise you, the next day, my face hurt from laughing so much. And I, I was bet. sitting there, I was like, why does my face hurt? And it's because I was laughing. <laughs> now, funny guy. Were, you, were you on the set with him or were you in the audience watching everything? No, we were in the tape? audience. We got okay. an invitation to be in the audience for that. Yeah, I, I actually was part of that as well in really? Orlando, Florida. And this oh, was man, about this a, was in Atlanta. Yeah, I think it was like a year or so ago. And Steve had done so many episodes that he was tired. Yeah. I mean, he was wore out. He was yeah. like, where are we, y'all? Like, what day <laughs> is it? And, and so in between the breaks, he would talk to the audience. Yeah, yeah. And he'd take questions. He's like, you know, anybody want to ask me anything? Did he yeah. do that with you guys? Yeah, he did. Um, I didn't say anything. Okay. Um, you know, I, I mean, there's more people there, you know, that have never met celebrities and stuff. So, I, I mean... You now let them ask questions, you know. So you know, one of the things that I remember uh, he said to me because I I, I just raised yeah, my yeah, hand, yeah, 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 like I got a question yeah, for you, yeah. Mr. Harvey. I said uh, I have a Christian comedic talk show. What kind of advice could you give me? He said, Good drop Christian from it. And I was like, what? He said, drop the word yeah. Christian from it. He said because you got all kind of people that would mm -hmm. want to watch your show, and if you got like some title over mm -hmm. it, you know, like would you watch? A different type of religion you know like if there was yeah. a, a talk show or mm -hmm. you know some type of comedian or something but just because they're labeled this like would you even want to hear them probably not because you don't agree with their religion exactly yeah. so you know that was that was his uh, advice yeah. to me when I he, posed the question his his whole testimony is amazing and, and that's why I really like Steve Harvey is because with me being a rapper in this industry yes I'm a Christian but I don't force my religion on anybody I mean, I talk about things that have happened to me that happened to people who aren't a Christian. I lost my brother. People who aren't Christians lose family members, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I've seen gang violence. Uh, people who aren't Christians see gang violence, you know? I, God gave me strength to make it through so many different things that I can relate with people with. So why am I just going to talk to the church? You know, well, I tell you what, that, that's a good point. We're going to take a break here. I want to pause okay. right there because what you're saying, <laughs> I want to pick back up on. So let's uh, take a break All and right. we'll be back with Seth Harden in just a moment. Hey, Seth Harden in the building. Yeah. Let me see those hands up. Let me see those hands up. Yeah, let me see those hands up. Hey, let me see those hands in the sky. If you wanna live your life right now, it's time for us to pull together so we can make it through the stormy water. Let's live life all together. Let's live life all together. Let's live life all together, together. Together, yeah. Getting locked up, kids getting killed It's such a tragic world that we live in But we gotta stay strong and keep our head up No matter what happens, we can't give up Sometimes it gets rough, cause you got bills to pay Plus you got a family and they got to eat And you just lost your job last week But things will get better, man, wait and see Cause I'ma pray for you and the person right beside you Every once in a while, we need each other So don't be ashamed when you go through hard times we all go through it, so don't feel alone And put your hands in the sky if you won't change And keep your hands high if you're ready for a change We gotta stay strong and stick together And let God hold us when we go through stormy water Let me see yeah. those hands in the sky If you wanna live your life right now It's time for us to pull together So we can make it through the stormy water Let's live life all together Let's live life all together Yeah, let's live life all together Together, together, yeah. From the church to the streets to the people in the club, we all gotta play our role. 
Cause life can be tough and you already know it That you can't live life alone See God got my back and he got yours too So tell me what do you wanna do Do you wanna sit back and waste your life Or do what you're called to do Yeah, live life, that's right Don't let it pass by Hey, live life, that's right don't let it pass by Now put your hands in the sky if you won't change And keep your hands high if you're ready for a change We gotta stay strong and stick together And let God hold us when we go through stormy water Let me see yeah. those hands in the sky If you wanna live your life right now It's time for us to pull together So we can make it through the stormy water Let's live life all together Let's live life all together Let's live life all together Together, together, yeah Yeah, let me see those hands in the sky If you wanna live your life right now It's time for us to pull together So we can make it through the stormy water Let's live life all together Let's live life all together Let's live life all together Together, together, yeah All right, we're back with Seth Harden. So, uh, Seth, before the break, you were telling us a little bit about your brother. I, mm -hmm. I'd like to kind of uh, let you talk about that for just a moment. What happened, for those who don't know? Yeah, um, you know, like I said, when I first started out, I, you know, you really don't have much to talk, talk about. So what I talked about at first when I first started rapping was, you know, being a Christian, I talked about, you know, the, the, the Bible and just different things you learn in church. But as I got older, I started seeing different things. My older brothers, they were thugs, you know. Um, that was a life that I wasn't living. Um, but I saw what not to do from them. And my, my oldest brother, Jay, it was years before he even told me he loved me, you know, and, and it wasn't out of hate. It wasn't out of anything like that. You know, he, he was older than me. He had different things going on in his life. Well, five days before I get my movie role uh, with Nicolas Cage, my brother told me, you know, he was like, hey, Seth, he was like, you can make it. I love you. And and that to me was was so, so needed because I've been waiting for years just for him to say something like that to me, you know? And um, he said, he was like, you know, I wanna change, I wanna change. And and that stuck with me. So here I am, the last day of filming in New Orleans, it's a Thursday morning. We're walking around in the marketplace and um, my mom gets a call and she shook up and I knew something happened. I knew somebody died. Um, I just didn't know who. She wouldn't tell me, you know, of course, because that's a, you know, it's a seven hour ride back home where I lived. And uh, we got back home. I bought a watch from my brother, you know. Uh, my dad's a big guy. You don't see him cry much. But he opened up that front door and his eyes were red. And I was like, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong? What happened, you know? And he looked at me and said, Seth, Jay's gone. Your brother's gone. And that hurt. You know, I wanted to stop my music. I wanted to stop acting. Because I was like, why? God, why? I'm sitting here with a with a superstar celebrity, Nicolas Cage, talking to him while my brother dies. That hurt. But you know, God always puts this thing inside of you, you know, and, and he's always telling you, hey, I know you're going through this. I know you're going through that. But keep doing what I called you to do. I called you for a reason. You know, I've been through so many things but God helped me through every last one of them. And, and it's crazy because in church, the, you know, people would come up to me and they would say, Seth, one day God is gonna bless you with something that you never imagined. Well, I mean, I'm, I got You're a like, big well, imagination. I, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> I have a very big imagination, so I've thought about a lot of stuff, and I was like, well, I don't know what that is. Well, you know, I go into schools and I sing at schools and speak in different things, and next thing I know, I get a call. And here it is, the thing that I never imagined, I never thought of this, but the mayor of my hometown, LaGrange, Georgia, awarded me with my own holiday, Seth Harden Day on August 28th. And I never thought about that, never. That is wild. 
I never thought about that. You know? How many people and, get their own day? And and this thing, I, I was the, there are there are a lot of singers and actors and stuff coming from that they have come from Lagrange, mm -hmm. but to be the first one with a holiday, I was like, man, that's a that's a real blessing, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't give anybody glory for that, but God, you know. Well, I tell you what, why don't we uh, we're gonna take another break here, and I'm gonna let you tell them when that day is coming up right. in just a moment. You're watching Light Talk, Seth Harden, Sam Beeman. All right, we're back on Light Talk, and this is Thank God You're Here. I'm going to go to my studio audience for their suggestion. So what's happening in this scene? Y'all are two friends, or two people, well, two people um, going against each other for a million dollars on America's Got Talent. Okay, so we're uh, two, two singers. singers. Okay, two singers competing for a million dollars on America's Got Talent. Seth, are you ready? Yeah. All right, come on in. Thank God you're here. What's up? After all this time, I've been waiting for you to arrive, and this is what I see. That's... What do you mean? What do you mean? We got a photo shoot? We got a photo shoot to get ready for? Is that oh. what you're telling me? Well, I mean, there's so much that goes into this that you just got to be prepared. And I'm just thinking that you went to the mall, and you got these threads, and... I don't know if everybody really cares about your threads, man, because you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready with your A game. What and do you see, mean? you're all concerned with like how I look. Th that's what you just talked about, right? The A game, that's what I'm on. I'm on the A game. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm on I'm on the A game. I'm on the A game. I look yeah. good on the A game, the best train. I'm doing good. Yeah, you man. look good on the stage. But I'm saying like on film. On I film. Mean, you know, it's just a little different because there's a lot riding on this, man. I look, I look like, like Denzel. Have, yeah, Denzel. You look like Denzel. And Denzel's going to be watching this too, man. Will Smith. You know, and, and whoever, whoever takes it, you know, can hang out with Will Smith. But I'm going to let my talent go to the top because I am going to be the next, not you. Next, not me. Yeah. Everybody wants to be me. Yeah. Everybody wants to be you just because you know how to dress fly. Exactly. You prove my point. So what's your what's your talent here? My talent? Yeah, what's your talent? I mean like you can dress good, but what's your talent? Go I ahead. Do the blues. Go ahead. Let, let me do see the blues. let me see what you do. I because do the they're gonna all be seeing, so go I do ahead. The blues. Then back do up. Back up. Back up. I was walking down the street. I seen about two birds going tweet tweet. I said to myself, myself said, huh? I said maybe I should go to Burger King. That's straight to the point. That's straight to the point. That's straight to the soul. To so the this soul. is your talent, man. People like that. That's real. Oh, people like that. That is oh, real. That well, is I from think, the heart. I think you need to hear my talent. You ain't got no because talent. look, look, I'm telling you, when when everybody sees what I got, oh, it's gonna let that tweet tweet. Go, what you got? got? What you got? Like this. What you got? What you got? I got that tweet tweet. I got that tweet tweet. I gotta let you know what I do when I go to Burger King. See, what do you think about that? I think that's copyright infringement. No, you no, say what no. I said. That's, See, that's and I'm just, I'm just glad I get to go first. That's all I got to say. So, haha. <laughs> but let me tell you something else. All right, this is my hit. This is my hit. It's called What If. All right. What if, hey, I was different, hey, maybe I could be somebody else. That sounds just like I my song. I couldn't be him. I wouldn't be him. him. Uh, and I, I wouldn't want to be him. him. Uh, Cause I he ain't worth nothing. Uh, so you want to come to my show and buy my, my tickets and help me be chilling and pay my bills and that's why that's a hit. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's why that's a hit. Scene! Woo! Alright, so what do you think uh, is going on in this scene? What's happening? I think, this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that it, it, it's about music. Okay. We're both singers. Alright. And I think that you want to be better than I am <laughs> as a singer. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. Pretty close. You want to look better than I do. 
You want a better video than me. You want to reach the top before I do? <laughs> okay. Uh, would Would you like to tell them what's going on here in this scene? America's we... got talent. And y'all are competing for her, though. Million dollars. Yes, we were oh. two singers competing for a million dollars. So, see, so you were all concerned about your, about your A game. You said it. <laughs> you said it. You said A game. <laughs> he said A game, didn't he? All right. So, uh, that was a lot of fun. That was good. That yeah. was good. Uh, thank you, Seth, yeah, uh, thank for you. playing. Thank, thank God you. you're here. And we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment with more of Seth Harden. <laughs> All right, we're having a lot of fun here on Like Talk, and I'm back. <laughs> Can you see this? Can you see my light? I see it. You let me... I see it. <laughs> <laughs> is it. Is it picking up on camera? <laughs> I see it. Yeah, uh, you know, this terrible thing happened. Uh, just an accident. I had to... Pull something out of my chest and make this little reactor. Well, I'm gonna tell you, um, you kind of seem like you're acting like Iron Man. Just gonna let you know. Just letting you know. <laughs> Iron Man. Iron Man ripped my story off. Okay. <laughs> so, All right, okay. I All mean, right. you think this is a prop? I mean, you. Oh, my light went out. Oh. <laughs> Where's it at? There. You think this is a prop? <laughs> I don't tell that to the writers of the <laughs> Iron Man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this this shirt is actually from uh, from Japan, and the the reactor. <laughs> um, they they've seen a lot of videos that I've done, and uh -huh. and so they've uh, graciously given me this <laughs> to be able to help promote this shirt cool. and reactor. So if you uh, if you want this, check out X cosplay.com uh, and uh, also don't forget about our sponsors A2 Screen Printing. You can get your Light Talk t-shirts, your official Light Talk t-shirts at A2 Screen Printing and I believe we have a number on that. There you go. Alright, so check out A2 Screen Printing. Alright, so we're gonna, uh, we're wrapping up the show today. You're finishing up what you're talking about this day. Yeah, um, August 28th, uh, it's going to be every year this is what we're going to do. Um, the city of LaGrange is going to shut down Main Street, downtown on the square, and they're going to bring out this huge stage, this huge stage, and I'm bringing down friends from the entertainment industry. Um, country singer uh, Jesse Reese, bringing him down. Um, I've got I've got a few other people in there. I'm not going to tell you everybody, but, All right. but that's one of my close friends. Uh, Awesome guy, awesome guy. We're actually going to remix a new song I have out called All Together. And he's coming down. We're going to perform that at 6.30 on the square on Main Street, downtown LaGrange, Georgia. And, and it's going to be awesome. We're going to have free giveaways, you know, all kinds of different things. And it's going to happen every year. That's what I was about to ask. Every year. Like, this is not just a one-day event. Yeah, no, I mean... They gave me a holiday. I'm gonna use it, you know. <laughs> you know, last year we went out to eat, and because we didn't know, we didn't know. They told us on the day of, so we didn't get to, you know, do it very big. Did last you get a key year. and everything. To do they? No, uh, another guy got the key. What? Um, he, no, he, he was he was in the he earned it. He was okay, in the okay, military okay. or something. Okay. Army. Gotcha. I don't know, but salute to him. <laughs> um. I'm happy with what I got. God yeah. bless me, and I'm happy with it. So I didn't know um, how the whole thing happened. Like, when somebody gets their day, if they get a key to the city, like, how does that work? You know, work? I had somebody ask me at a funeral. They were like, did you get the key to the city? <laughs> I was like, what? It you seems know? to be, like, real big in all the TV shows and movies and stuff. It's like, yeah, all right, you get a yeah. key to the city. Cut the ribbon, and here you go. What do you do with that key? Do you, do you get a chance to go, like, the, off the I don't buildings? Know. I don't know. It was a cool-looking key, though. I'd like to have it. It was pretty cool. Is it real big? Um, no, it's, it actually came in a little box like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. But hey, it's I love the holiday. Key. I should have brought the plaque. But it was <laughs> awesome, man. And how can people get a hold of you? Like, if you want to direct them to, yeah, your, uh, um, to your music or just you as an artist? Definitely go to SethHarden.net. That's S-E-T-H-H-A-R-D-E-N.net. And you can contact me through the email. Um, you can leave comments. You can look at the videos. I have free songs on there for download. Um, you can read my bio and find out a little bit more about me. So, okay, SethHarden.net. Check it out. And we gotta, we're gonna wrap this up with a scripture today, which comes from Psalm 19, verse 14. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Lord, my rock and my redeemer. You know, I was reading this uh, recently, and it really, really spoke to me. Um, because, 
you know, like with, with our prayer, with our time with the Lord, mm -hmm. with, uh, with the words and the way that we talk, you know, our attitudes and stuff like that, is it, is it pleasing in God's sight? And, yeah. you know, I, I'm guilty in the past of it not being pleasing in <laughs> yeah. God's sight. Yeah. You know, uh, my words, my actions, um, and even sometimes meditation, your, mm -hmm. your prayer time. Like, are you rushing? Are you like punching in the clock? <laughs> yeah. Okay, God, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gone. You know, yeah. I did my prayer for today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, is that pleasing in God's sight? I, I think that, uh, you know, that it's that, uh, that surrender, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that we bring yeah. to him, that sacrifice. I agree. But uh, anyways, thank you again, Seth, yeah. for being on the show. Thank it was you. so much fun. Thank and, you. And uh, for, you know, the music and for yeah. the improv and all of that. Um, and thank you again for sharing your story with yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. So thank you. We're just in a thankful mood here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you for watching Light Talk. Take care and God bless. <laughs> so uh, so you thought I fell, huh? Yeah, I, I thought you fell. I, I, said, I thought you fell. I thought you fell. I was like, should I help him up? <laughs> but then he kept going. I was like, oh, oh wait, this might be part of this gift. I might not need to say anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sometimes I try and start off the show a little bit more different than others. Yeah.